Welcome back to Experimental Recording Techniques. I'm Noam Wallenberg. We're here at Rackstracks Recording. Today we're going to be trying to make an ambient sound out of a piano and some uh, delay and reverb pedals uh, and a electro harmonics pog. We're going to mic the piano with a uh, contact microphone. The reason that we're doing that is one, because it doesn't feel like it exists in space, which is a kind of cool sound for this. Uh, and then second, because of feedback issues, because we're going to have amplifiers inside of the room and it's going to make it a little easier for us to push those amplifiers without uh, feeding back like you would with a normal microphone. We got our piano set up, but we've put a contact mic on to capture uh, everything that Ben is playing. It's just sitting here on the soundboard of, of the piano and it is a AKG C411 sounds really weird on its own. So we have that going through a 1073 pre and then coming back out through a Little Labs reamp box and that's correcting the impedance and correcting the volume so that we can send it out to some amplifiers. We're starting out with just a volume pedal and that's just so that Ben can play the piano without having the attack of the piano hurt. So all he wants is the residual chords but none of the attack sound. And Ben's gonna use, you know, a technique to play that where he's gonna play and then fade in every single note. The Electro Harmonics Pog 2, uh, we're gonna use that just to add a little bit of a high octave, right? So it's gonna add just like a little shimmer on top. So just a little bit of shimmer. And we're also using uh, their low pass filter that's built into that circuit to take off some of the like very sharp high end. So this is without the low pass filter. Woo. And we're gonna pull off just a little bit of that. Now our delay pedal could be anything. You don't have to have a fancy delay. It could be, you know, the cheapest delay that you could possibly find. Uh, in this case, it is the Strymon El Capistan, which is one of my one of my favorite uh, tape delay emulators. Uh, and we're setting that with a, a kind of longer uh, delay, you know, because we want it to extend the notes a lot. And we're using a little bit of the uh, tape age function and the tape warble function. They call it wow and flutter. So here is just just uh, the delay alone without me using the volume pedal. That's what we're adding to it. And then uh, with the fading in, we have some beautiful ambience. We're gonna add a lot of reverb uh, from the Strymon Flint. I have it set to the 80s setting, which is kind of this long, really shimmery and enormous sounding. And I'm also using this flint to split out to two amplifiers. So you're gonna hear a different one amplifier on the left and one amplifier on the right. And that is a Fender Twin and a really nice uh, combo, uh, boutique combo amp from, from Top Hat that we're using. If we wanna get uh, even crazier with it, we can add a little bit of tremolo on top of that. Or if we're gonna get really crazy, we could do some weird tremolo kind of stuff. All right, so we're gonna let an actual piano player, Ben Joseph, play this and see what kind of cool sounds we can get. Thanks for joining us for Experimental Recording Techniques. Uh, check out the other videos where we do a bunch of other weird stuff. <laughs>